What's up everybody? Deck so crazy back in the building. Back with another video, man. I'm just outside thinking, bro, like shit, man. I got so many ideas floating around, bro. I'm just record this video right quick. Man, I have been recording videos, but I just haven't been posting them, but um something about cigarettes. That's going to be the title of this video. Something about cigarettes, bro. Like Man, I started smoking nicotine like, I think I was like 19, 19, you know what I'm saying? 19, 18, something like that. Um, my first nicotine rush was with, um, was with, um, was with a, a game or Optimo Cigarello. Um, it was like a green, green, like, it wasn't minty, but it was like very green. You know what I'm saying? I forgot. It was green something. And that shit was crazy. I was on rollerblades and nigga, I got super dizzy. I, I smoked the whole thing and I got fucking nicotine sickness or whatever the fuck it's called, bro. Nigga, I threw up straight liquid, like hella water, bro. Like all over my kitchen floor, like crazy you know what i'm saying and i was listening to um love is rage 2 for the first time by Lil Vert. that was a good time that was a good time that was a really good time you know what i'm saying neon guts came on and i was just fucked up i was just fucked up so i got a real connection to um love is rage 2 and the song neon guts because literally bro i was fucked i was fucked bro super super dizzy but um yeah bro shit man i've been vaping i've been vaping bro i've been vaping bro i've been vaping you know like you know when i went to rehab for the first time when i was like 18 i turned 19 in rehab um you know, everybody was, I ain't never really smoked cigarettes. Like, you know, I was like, you know, cigarettes, they, they kind of like, that's kind of too much. You know, but I was smoking blunts and stuff like that. Occasionally, I wasn't really smoking weed like that crazy. You know what I'm saying? Just yet. I never really got the opportunity to smoke weed like that, though. You know what I'm saying? It was like, all only for small stints in my life. Only like small stints in my life. Um, I was smoking weed like every day, but nigga, man, I was on them pills like that, DXM pills, dextromethorphan pills. I was on the pills like that, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't smoking weed like that. Weed was like one of the very last things I tried, you know what I'm saying? It was DXM, LSD, Finnabut, then weed. You know what I'm saying? Like, weed was one of the last things I tried. Like, you know what I'm saying? Molly, after that, K2. Um, but that's besides the point. We talk about nicotine in this video, bro. Everybody was outside smoking when I was in rehab. You know what I'm saying? I was at Banyan and everybody was smoking a cigarette, talking and shit like that. You know, outside. And um, yeah, it was a social thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, you'll be around motherfuckers talking to niggas and shit like that, and they smoking a cigarette, you know? And, um, I just started smoking cigarettes. I'm like, fuck it, bro. Fuck it, I smoke a cigarette. You know what I'm saying? And I started smoking cigarettes, you know? At first, they would give me, like, a little buzz feeling. I get that little buzz feeling. Like, they had these, like, broken up white rocks. You know what I'm saying? Like, to cover the dirt by, like, a koi pond or whatever. And, um... Yeah, bro, I, I, in the morning, I have my coffee, and I smoke my cigarette, and I get that buzz, bro. I start sinking into the damn ground, you know what I'm saying? And um, that was cool for a little while. That was cool for a little while, you know what I'm saying? When you mix nicotine with weed, you get like a little head high, and you'll get all fucked up and shit like that. But, um, you know, I didn't experience that too many times. It was good. It was good. I, I definitely prefer blunts over joints but um <clears throat> you know what i'm saying that, that, was, that was the time that was the time 
Um, fast forward a little bit later, I started vaping and shit like that with the little 1200 puff HQDs. Um, once I got into like a sober living or whatnot, and those were all right, but I never really fuck with those too much. You know what I'm saying? They were good for what they were, and I was smoking Paul Malls and um the green pack Paul Malls, the menthol ones, and um you know I was working in the call center, I was doing pretty good, and. You know, I was making like $500 a week, sometimes $600 a week, depending on what time of year it was, what campaign we was doing. So I had the money. I was buying a pack of cigarettes every fucking day. You know what I'm saying? And them Paul Malls was like $7, $8 back then, a pack, depending on which store you go to. And I wasn't even 21 yet, so it was hard. I had to go to them stores that didn't ID you and shit like that. So, you know, if there was a tax to it, I had to pay that tax. And then I finally turned 21 and I started, you know, I started chilling out, you know, 305s, smoking 305s on the regular. And I was vaping and smoking at the same time. I'll buy a vape and I'll buy a pack of cigarettes. I buy a pack of cigarettes, you know, every other day. And I have that vape, that HQD for like four, yeah, three or four days, you know what I'm saying? Depending on how crazy I was. I like the, at the time, I like the Blueberry Lemonade, 1200 Puff HQD, and I like the Rainbow. That one tasted like cereal. I really fuck with that one. It tastes like Fruit Loops. Um, you know what I'm saying? And, um, yeah, man, fast forward a little bit later, you know, I started smoking Black and Miles or whatnot, the wine tip Black and Miles. I didn't really fuck with those too much. At the time, I did, but as I started smoking cigarettes, you know, I, I prefer cigarettes over Black and Miles. I prefer cigarettes over Black and Miles. I feel like Black and Miles be too much, bro. Like, Black and Miles, I don't know, at least when you first smoke them, they give you the shits bad, bro. They give you the shits bad, especially when you're drinking, like, cheap coffee and shit like that. They just make it worse. You know what I'm saying? Um, But, um... Yeah, man, I stopped smoking the Black and Miles, and I, I went back to cigarettes, 305s or whatnot. I like the long 100, you know what I'm saying, the 100s, 305, 100, menthol, menthol 100s, however the fuck you say it. I fuck with those. I feel like they got, like, a stronger taste in the shorts. Of course, they last longer, and they cost the same amount of dollars, you know what I'm saying? So it's like... You just giving yourself a less cigarette and it don't taste as good. I don't know what it is, man. Maybe it was the stores I was going to at the time, but the one hundreds were always fresher, you know what I'm saying? They always had like a stronger menthol taste to it. You know what I'm saying? Like I smoked Newports, I smoked other types of cigarettes and shit like that, like Marlboros, but I prefer menthol, but the thing about Newports is, and 305s, like, and Paul Malls, and um, uh, what what's the what was the other name of that brand? What was the other name of that brand? It was like DT something, DT something or DCT something like that. It's like in a green and black box. I feel like the 305s they got, got like a pronounced menthol taste. It's not smooth like that. Other cigarettes they be smooth, but. I kind of like that rough taste, like that rough texture of the smoke when you inhale. You know what I'm saying? But some people prefer the smoothness, man. I kind of, I kind of like that more menthol the rougher smoke, if you know what I'm saying. Like, it's, that's just me, bro. That's just me. I'm not saying them other cigarettes bad. I just prefer the cheaper cigarette. You know what I'm saying? Doesn't help. It does help that my damn wallets benefits from that too you know what i'm saying but um recently man like as of my 21st birthday like 21st my 23rd birthday man this year august 21st 2024 you know i'm born in 2001 turned 23 man i bought me a vape like a week before my birthday you know what i'm saying i, I bought the vape juice and, and all that stuff i was smoking that maple butter from coastal clouds and those were pretty good like I literally been vaping out for the longest amount of time and I just got tired of it.
I finally got my bad drip cereal trip and yeah man I had ran out of vape juice not too long ago I've been unemployed for like nine weeks you know I was doing pretty good I stopped smoking cigarettes on my birthday I smoked my last cigarette on my birthday August 21st this year and about two weeks ago right I ran out of vape juice my uh my coastal clouds maple butter vape juice and my coil it was like three weeks old after three weeks i changed my coil because you know it don't start tasting burnt or nothing like that but you know when i was vaping in the meeting one of the guys anthony that's my boy he was like yo that smells weird like it didn't taste weird or nothing like that but he said it smelled weird so i was just like all right it's probably time to change it so ever since then i've just been making sure after three weeks i changed it you know what i'm saying they say it could last a month that's what the dude who sold it to me say the coils last for like a month but um yeah man fuck that fuck that i change it every three weeks so i ran out of vape juice and you know i needed that nicotine so i asked one of my guys here at the halfway house you know to let me let me get a cigarette let, let me bum a cigarette right i got that i started coughing like crazy man the vapes make me cough like crazy. Like, my vape, my vape make me cough like crazy when I first got it. But as I got used to the different airflow, you know what I'm saying? Like, I started off on five watts that bring out a little bit of smoke. It's not that hot, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, you could pull longer. You could pull longer, get as much smoke as you want. But as I progressively, you know, got more accustomed to it, I found myself needing to up the wattage so i went to five then i went to 10 then i went to like 14 then i went to like 15 16 20 you know i do 20 now you know what i'm saying you could go all the way up to like i think 80 watts on this vape but i don't, I don't need it that high i don't need it that high i need my battery to last anyways i don't know if that affect the battery too much but i don't do it that high um yeah man so i started smoking cigarettes again i got used to the cigarette drag you know what i'm saying the air like when you pull on a cigarette the the hot air is hot but it's not it's not as it's, it's it's hotter than the vape it's hotter than the vape it's more especially with like 305s and shit like that like it's more harsher than the vape you know what i'm saying but the vape is more powerful and it's like you know it really hits you but a cigarette is like it's like slow it's like slow and it's hot but a vape is like it's you know what i'm saying like that shit really shoots that that fucking vapor at you you know what i'm saying you got to get used to that so i do like quick pulls i don't go too crazy like you know what i'm saying with a cigarette i just You know what I'm saying? I don't go too crazy with it. But, you know, I, I started donating blood last week. Um, I started donating blood last week. And first thing I did, you know, I got me a pack of 305s. And I got my vape juice. I got a new coil. And, um, yeah, bro, I have not touched this vape like I thought I was, bro. I'm like... I'm gonna get this bad drip cereal trip and I'm gonna, I'm not gonna smoke this, this pack of cigarettes. I'm just weaning myself down from these cigarettes. Man, whenever I run out of my cigarettes, bro, I smoke a pack of cigarettes a day. I forgot to mention, my cigarette habit really got crazy when I was working in the casino, bro. They got cigarette vending machines and the 305s is like $5, bro. You know what I'm saying? So. I just buy, I was underage at the time, but um, I was just buying the fucking cigarettes, bro. I was just buying the cigarettes. I'll buy a pack of cigarettes at night, and by the morning time, I'm out of fucking cigarettes. But I would go home and drink, so I didn't really give a fuck about the cigarettes, you know what I'm saying? And then um, when I clock back in, work, you know what I'm saying? I go to the vending machine, buy me a pack of cigarettes for $5, you know what I'm saying? And then I'm, I'm chilling, I'm chilling. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, man, nowadays, bro, I'm not touching this vape like that. 
I'm out of cigarettes right now. I got to donate blood tomorrow, December 2nd. Today's December 1st. What time is it? Well, it's December 2nd now. Um, It's 12 o'clock. I'm recording. It's late. Like I do all my videos. Most of my videos, I should say. Sometimes I record in the morning. But, um, yeah, man. Like, I'm back how I was thugging back in the day. Like, I'm smoking and I'm vaping. But I'm only vaping when I run out of cigarettes. If that makes sense, bro. It's like, vaping is way cheaper than buying cigarettes. You know what I'm saying? You'll buy juice every, like, week and a half. When I first started, it was, like, every two weeks on the dot, I would run out of vape juice. Now, it's like, I'm smo I'm vaping more, or I was vaping more. And um, now, it's, like, a week and a half, a, a bottle of 60 milliliter vape juice. You know what I'm saying? I six... Six grams, milligrams, six milligrams of nicotine. You know what I'm saying? I would um, I would I would finish a bottle of that, and um, like I'll finish a bottle in like a week and a half. You know what I'm saying? A week if I'm going crazy with it. If I'm going crazy with it. But that was like towards the end. But towards the end, my bread was running thin because I've been unemployed for nine weeks, y'all. Like, and I've been trying to donate blood. Like, it just hit me, like, to start donating blood, get my paperwork in order, and my address straight so I can donate blood, get this bread while I'm unemployed. But, um, yeah, man. Yeah, bro. Um, that damn nicotine. Thing about cigarettes, bro. Thing about cigarettes. The damn cigarettes, boy. Something about them. They're just so addictive, bro. It's like... I was able to put the cigarettes down for a couple weeks and I took one hit off a fucking cigarette and I can't put them bitches down. Like once my once I got accustomed to the flow of fucking cigarettes, I cannot put them bitches down, bro. And it's like I'm getting accustomed to my vape again. It's not making me cough no more, but I still prefer the cigarette. You know what I'm saying? Because a cigarette is smooth. I used to cough crazy off of cigarettes, but I've been vaping and smoking so long, I barely... I barely cough, bro. It used to be like only early in the morning, sometimes late at night, but during the day I'll be cool. Now it's like it don't matter what time of the day it is. Nigga, if I hit a cigarette, I'm not coughing, bro. You know what I'm saying? But um Yeah, bro. Be careful with them cigarettes, bro. Be careful with them cigarettes. You put them hoes down, put them hoes down. I'm I'm not saying vaping no better. Supposedly it give you popcorn lung. You know, cigarettes dry out your lungs and vaping, it moisturize your lungs. You know what I'm saying? So you get like two evils, two evils. You know what I'm saying? But um, damn cigarettes, bro. Damn cigarettes. Be careful, man. Chickadees, everybody. Chickadees.